the match. Evloev had that tough European championship. He was eliminated early, but other than that, that was his only blimp on the radar. He has been at the top of every tournament and championship near the top, including these world championships. See the warning for the leg on the offensive maneuver by the Russian. Underway, gold at 97. What have you seen from Milov over the past couple of days? He's somewhat of a surprise propelling into these world championship gold medal match. Yeah, I could say for many, for many it was surprising that he'll be in that he's in final now. But he won Kajaya, he won Kish. Both are very experienced wrestlers, it means. He is dangerous. Ah, you see now he, he's earning first activity. He gets the first point. He will put Ebloeb on the bottom parterre and an opportunity for Milov. Will he go with a lift or will he settle for a gut wrench? Wants the wrench, wants the roll. First, he had chest lock now, lifting, whoa, it was a good moment, but... <laughs> Couldn't finish it, switched headlock. up to that front headlock, showing a couple of different looks on top, and it's Evelev who's able to get away. I think that is his strong side, I mean Bulgarian, that he's trying different techniques, look, not standard wrestler. First he tried from chest to roll, then lower lock, then headlock. Match stops with a minute 19 remaining in the first period. The passivity point has been it. Sometimes you know what happens when you win your main opponent in first rounds, like it happened yesterday with your love with Artur Alexander. Oh, no, why? Well, I think it could be two points for Russian, maybe. Let's see. No, referees decided that it was a... no points awarded. Yeah. No challenges requested. Action continues. Near miss, though. One nothing. Keep. That in mind is maybe a, a go-to a little bit later on in this match. Close to a step out, and the oh, Russian evens it up. Yeah. Well, they're going to go to two, so they yeah. give two on that. It was two because he started his action, and uh, Bulgarian just tried to show that he's trying some attack, but it was not so. Evloev grabs the lead two to one. First time he's held the advantage in this first period. Action blue! Now with Underhook, he's more active. Russian, I mean. But all we'll see in second period. When you look at the performance by Russia in the Greco-Roman entering today with 163 points. They've already added five points to that with the gold medal in heavyweight. So sitting at 168, a finalist here. They have a finalist in the final weight class coming up. Are you surprised by this dominant run this year? Were you anticipating this from Russia? No, really, honestly, before the tournament, I never could say that in six weight categories they will be finalists and uh, not finalists but already they have four goals and this is uh, this in this match is very close for fifth and in 77 Chekirkin also has good chances so maybe two maximum three gold medals but five six that is amazing result never I could anticipate. What do you think has been their key in 2018? Oh, you know, really it's hard to say because I know their plan of trainings. Uh, I can't say that much has changed. Their camps, their tournaments, mostly they are doing the same, but uh, maybe guys feel some pressure or uh, 
the team is another here. Uh, last year, of course, Yvloev was again here. He finished second with Artur Alexanian in the final. Chihirkin is also the same from last year in 77 kilogram. We'll see next match. Let's see what he prepared in part of Last year was really tight between the top three countries. Not the case this year. Clear separation. Evolev looking for a lift. Trying to get that grip. Might settle for two on a roll. Jumps back. Back up onto his feet. Still has a possibility Whoa. to score. And he does. He comes away with four. And one point for opponent. Now we need to defense. He stuck with it, didn't he? Some wrestlers bail out in that situation. Boy, he just kept going with move after move, and it was the final opportunity where he was able to get some thrust and the four. You know also what I think, what has changed for Russian team. Last year in Paris, there were no parterre. That was wrestling only in up, and usually Russians are very strong in parterre. You see what a throw he did. Most Russians guys are doing the same throw, lifting from the side and throwing. If you watch the guys in their team, mostly they are doing the same technique. Or left side or right side lifting. Surkov is doing also very well rolling. I mean, a 67 guy who won world championship here. But mostly they are doing lifting. And now with new rules where we have harder they are dominating, and we see the result. Six finalists, already four gold medals, and this is close to the fifth. Musa Evloev in complete control for the Russian Federation, has the hook, leads by five. Milov of Bulgaria. Running into a buzzsaw in this gold medal match. Milov is trying now to go to some different logs, but Russia, no need to risk. He just to defense, need to defense in a correct way. No need for hurrying. Left just 30 seconds. Five points advantage. It's a very big gap. Up. It's been a good run for Milov. He recorded three straight tech falls, including the Hungarian kiss in his route to the semifinals yesterday before losing, but he's going to close out with a loss here in the gold medal match. His first loss in Budapest, but a first for the Bulgarian Milov as he comes away with a senior medal, and Russia is five for five. with Russian team, five gold medals. Really, I can't remember. Maybe 15, 20 years before, maybe we had to check it. 